Plastic pollution has become one of the largest threats facing the planet and its biodiversity today. On an average, plastic can take up to a thousand years to decompose, choking drains and river systems, contaminating soil and water, while damaging human and animal health as well as the environment. Plastic packaging accounts for nearly half of all plastic waste globally, much of which is thrown away within just a few minutes of its first use. Globally, out of the 141 million tons of plastic packaging waste generated in 2015, 86% was disposed in landfills or incinerated, resulting in groundwater pollution and increase in emissions, causing polluted water bodies and damaged ecosystems. Dia Panel Products, a Gujarat-based company, has found a solution to tackle the plastic waste menace by recycling the multi-layer plastic, which is conventionally not recycled. With their unique technology, they convert this plastic into low-cost and high-quality building materials. They recycle single-use plastics majorly used in packaging by the FMCG and pharma companies. The collected plastic waste is carefully sorted washed, ground to flakes, and formulated into different mixtures, keeping the quality of end product in mind. Using their proprietary technology, the plastics are then processed into flat sheets called Rikron panels, with varied thicknesses depending upon the end usage. Having multiple applications across different sectors like industries, housing, furnishing, and civil construction, basically use uh, polypropylene, that is PP, low density high polyethylene, LDPE, uh, and high density polyethylene, HDPE. These three polymers are the chemical reactions that if you break them in a particular degree, chain reactions, break them, then there are hazardous gases released. Plastic buckets, plastic jugs, toys, uh, car bumpers, milk pouches, milk jars, so plastic containers, plastic chairs, plastic tables. So this kind of plastic is all used. We are in a third world war with plastic. According to reports, it can be five times wrapped. It's so much plastic. It's a product that can at least 50 years to sustain. Because plastic, otherwise, there's no solution at least for 400 years. There was an idea that how to manufacture a waste product from waste plastic. So, there was an idea of tiles from there. So, I approached two or three organizations who already segregate the plastic. I got a little bit of knowledge, I got a little bit of plastic, I got a little bit of plastic, what polymers are there. Then I came across an article in a tribune about ACSR and NPL technology. And I thought that I'm looking for something like this, this is one idea, so let's collaborate with the NPL. Then it all started. In February, I had an idea and in March, I had my first meeting with scientists who were already working on this technology. So we transferred it to July. The price of this tile is very competitive. You can easily get it from us. 70 rupees per tile. And if you talk about this paper tiles, for 20 tons, you have to, you know, pay 20 rupees per tile, and for the 40 tons, you have to pay 30 rupees. First, our client was the Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation. We have supplied tiles to NPL itself only. And now we have a L'Oreal for L'Oreal, so L'Oreal is our big client. We are in talks with other brands also. We have a certification from all government departments where we have tested our product.
Our pilot project is based in the city of Pune and we're working with a waste picker cooperative called Swatch. We've set up a small production shed at a local garbage dump and have developed and trained a network of about 40 waste pickers to collect, sort and process the plastic. After the plastic is collected, it is first sorted by type. After they're sorted, the bottles are brought to our shed. At the shed, the bottles are scanned, washed and dried to prepare them for the flaking process. They are then passed through our flaker bot that grinds and shreds them, converting the bottles to plastic flakes. The flakes are then passed through our refill bot that uses an extruder mechanism to create the recycled filament. After being extruded, the filament is passed through a tub of water to cool it and is then wound onto our recycled spools. It is then packaged and sent to our printing facility where we test the filament on our 3D printers. Currently, we are still in our pilot and are working on improving filament consistency and print quality. In July 2009, they established a public limited company, Rudra Environmental Solutions, and set up a trial plant with a capacity of 50 kilograms in Zijuri on the outskirts of Pune city. So, how much plastic has come today? But it was only in 2016 that they set up this third generation plant with a capacity of 500 kilograms that is the core of their plastic waste recovery facility. After months of research and failed experiments with the help of scientist friends, the duo adapted a technology that converts all kinds of plastic waste to get a high grade fuel that is environment friendly and has a high calorific value. With a production cost of 23 to 34 rupees per liter, this polyfuel can be used directly as a source of burning without any need for further processing. <laughs> 